All right, here we go. Ahsoka episode five. I'm about to get into it and watch it. So, yeah, the last episode, leaving off with Anakin. <laughs> that was a pretty good episode and a pretty good ending to the episode. And I feel like a lot of people are on board now, I guess, because like a lot of people out there were not really caring that much for the series three episodes in. But I guess with the fourth episode, everyone's kind of like, everyone's kind of liking it now. <laughs> uh, I've, I've liked every episode so far. So like I've had no problem with it so far. Not like not like a perfect show, but I, I've liked it so far. So yeah. And yeah, okay, I went to watch this episode and hopefully his reaction's pretty good. <laughs> hopefully I actually like the edit. It's like, like hopefully it doesn't mess up <laughs> and hopefully I can get this reaction up. So yeah. So I guess let's get into it. Let's watch Ahsoka episode five. And yeah, it's a long one too. 52 minutes. Let's get it. <laughs> Did he force pull her in or is he a force ghost? Gonna find out. <laughs> Yo, this is the volume. They make it look pretty good. <laughs> Yo, the map is just a bunch of gears. All the ghosts. That's right. I thought they would start out with with Ahsoka and Anakin. Jace is going to be fully a part of this show now, pretty much. <laughs> I, thought he was going, I thought he was only going to be a cameo. Is there something still here? Oh, is it Hu Yang? About to find out what this is now. <laughs> Damn. You lost. Right? He's like, a, he's just like roasting her. <laughs> okay. I still don't know if. I'm guessing he's some kind of like. He's some kind of force ghost, or he's like a. World between worlds ghost. Man, I thought this whole episode might be all worlds, you know, between worlds. Guess we're gonna spend some time with Hera. <laughs> Yo, Carson, <laughs> go get Zeb. We're not going anywhere until I know exactly what happened here. But mom, there's something about the water. Uh, does he feel something? Wait, is it under the water? Is it like a? Is it like a Jedi temple or something like that? Yeah, I'm like I go on here because they added the sound effects. <laughs> That's going you can hear it though. His father, Kanan Jarrus, was a Jedi. Hey, we got the <laughs> We got a Kanan mention finally. Yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a cool shot right there. Clone troopers. Oh wait, is she young? I know. I, I just know she looks kind of short. And I'm young. <laughs> oh man, I love that he's in his like, like the armor. <laughs> I'm trying to remember her back. Is this like a? Is this like a like adaptation to one of like, do an episode? <laughs> do like a battle in one of the episodes? Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew we were gonna see. I knew we were gonna see a little bit of Vader. What would they even be looking for, though? <laughs> like two people fighting on the water. <laughs> Yo, Chopper always knows. <laughs> Chopper's always right. Unless he wants to like drop a bomb over civilians, I guess. <laughs> Oh, 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 wait, they're fine, man. Oh, they're fighting the death watch, right? I don't have a Darth Maul's in job. <laughs> I they do tell me. I don't know if it would fit, though. Choice. 
Oh, we're going. We're going to go in this now. <laughs> yeah, like, like they're having them as Vader, right? Like we're going to say Twilight of the Apprentice. Right. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, why did, did she grab it? Y'all, Ahsoka's going dark. <laughs> I choose to live. There's hope for you yet. Oh, wait, he's gone. Anakin. Is that all we're going to see of him? Oh, wait, is that how Brandon Wayne? <laughs> I know he was one of the X-Wing pilots from last, um, from last week's episode. Is that him, though? That was very much like, um, when they got Luke on, on Hoth <laughs> in Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> then, like, they've been alluding to some stuff through, from, like, throughout the movies, so. Like, that kind of that mirrored that when they got Luke back yo let's see Zeb come in <laughs> if like the rest of the fleet's coming in yo Zeb yeah there you go the purgle <laughs> I mean it's kind of predictable that they're gonna use the purgle but yeah it fits though it fits makes sense <laughs> I wonder if we have Jason interact with the space like space wheels just like Ezra did. Yeah, I feel like they need Jay's inter interact, right? Because he's in the ghost with with his mother. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's got a different cloak, all right? Like, it kind of matches what she had on in, in that, like, the end of Rebels. Man, they really they really did use, like, the... Oh, and goes on the mouth, though? <laughs> I was going to say, though, like, they're really... They really did put the money to the facts for this series, <laughs> as opposed to like Obi Wan or Mando season three. Yo, where's the ghost? Are they gonna take a hero with her? Like, is a hero gonna go along? Oh, oh snap! <laughs> oh, we're about to go. Wait, is hero gonna go with them? What? Jason's too young to travel between galaxies. Man, come on. Hera, <laughs> I thought Hera was going to go with them. I promise. May the force be with you. All right. Well, let's see, though. Is it going to end right here? Damn it, just ended right there. Oh, I don't want that right there. <laughs> well, I guess we won't see Thrawn until episode six next week. But yeah, that was a really good episode with that Anakin Ahsoka stuff in it. I mean, I just made the episode complete. Like I thought, I thought everything we saw with that, I thought was really good. And yeah, it was cool because it was cool because we got, got to see basically a live action like live action Clone Wars with Ahsoka and Anakin, which I thought was awesome. And yeah, it was cool. It was cool to see. And with Anakin, I think he's like a vision or something like that. Like I was thinking he might be a force ghost. And I was kind of also hoping that he might be like a real Anakin that somehow got into the world between worlds and like pulled out Ahsoka and saved her. But they would have to do a lot of explaining with that. They would have like there's some like retconning they were, they would have probably had to do so i'm almost glad they didn't do that even though i kind of wanted that so yeah and it's kind of like a vision inside the world between worlds with ahsoka and with her kind of completing completing her training as anakin said but yeah it was cool let's go see anakin like cool to hayden christensen you see little illusions of vader in there which i thought was awesome too i was kind of like wondering if they were gonna go like show uh, like Twilight of the Apprentice with Vader 
you know with like the torn helmet because i thought they might show that like that was my thing and they might show that moment but they didn't they didn't really show that and it's no it's not really a big deal because she's already relived or she's already lived that moment and i feel like she doesn't really need to see it again <laughs> but like the moments we did see i thought were cool just seeing like a like a younger ahsoka one of the, who the actors that got to play her because like she kind of looked familiar but probably not probably just an unknown <laughs> like an unknown younger actress but yeah from when we saw that that was pretty good and even like the kind of like a little showing of like siege of mandalore i thought was cool and with like the first battle was that that first battle that was they said that was like one of their earlier missions together like i don't really know what that what that one is it might have been one of the earlier clone wars episodes but i mean if you're watching you can tell me but as far as seeing that i don't really remember because i don't know i think we're both flashbacks they were just like it was just a lot of smoke going around a lot of smoke or a lot of dust going around i think it was just that was just to hide the fact that they filmed in the, like a in the volume or in like a studio or whatever <laughs> or like on a sound stage but like, nonetheless it looked cool it looked cool so yeah everything we saw from that i thought was pretty awesome but man i'm kind of bummed that Hera didn't go with uh ahsoka and Hu yang with the like the purgle mm -hmm. because i want to see i want to see her sabine and ahsoka together i want to see all three of them together with of course ezra who we're pro like who we're gonna see in like the next well, maybe the next episode like i would think he has to be in the next episode because there's three episodes remaining so i think we're gonna see thrawn and ezra in the next episode like i was thinking they might show him in this episode at the end but i guess they're just gonna save him for next episode and have it, like show a lot of them in the next episode so yeah don't tease us so i'm, I'm kind of glad they're doing that but yeah i was kind of like i was kind of bummed the hair is not going with them so yeah i want, I want to see them together i want to see the ghost screw together with it with the soak it <laughs> I guess we're not seeing that, but at least we're going to see Sabine and Ezra in this next episode, probably. And also, I think we're not going to see Zeb in this series at all. <laughs> like, we saw him in Mando Season 3, and, like, I, that almost gave us a hint that he might be in Ahsoka, but now it looks like they only put him there because they didn't have room to fit him in this in this series. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe he'll come back and then, like, the final three episodes or somewhere in there i mean we're still gonna follow Hera probably so maybe zeb will pop up but i feel like most of the next three episodes are gonna take place in the other galaxy where ezra and thrawn are and sabine and elizabeth and and um and balin shinati all of them <laughs> so yeah i feel like we're gonna it's good like the next three episodes the last three episodes are gonna take place mostly over there but there's a chance zeb might be in it I feel like it's not it's not really a deal breaker if he's not in the in the series, but I wanna see him. <laughs> they haven't shown him. Him or Callus. So yeah, give me Callus also. <laughs> Who would be playing Callus? That's the question. But yeah, but everything we saw, I think the main thing about this episode was Anakin and Ahsoka and from what we saw, I th like I thought it was good. I thought it was good with them clashing and like them with those lightsaber battles, I thought were pretty cool. And Jason with him hearing the lightsaber clashes, I thought that's pretty interesting how he heard him in the in the water. So okay, it's basically just him in tune with the force and knowing where knowing where like Ahsoka was, and all that being like very much similar to uh, like uh, like Empire Strikes Back when like all the the rebel pilots are like searching for Luke and on Hoth. So yeah, it's very much a, like an allusion to like a, I don't know, like a allude to that. And also, I'm thinking that um, I guess when Ezra comes back and he'll be a character fully on in this series, or like he'll be a character down the line because he's gonna probably be in the movie with like everyone else, Bando, Soka, Sabine, Bo-Katan. But I'm I'm kind of guessing he's probably gonna train Jason. Like I would I would think because I don't think Ahsoka is gonna train Jason. <laughs> Like she already had her hands full of Sabine. So that would be cool if uh, Ezra trained, trained Jason like Jason's father, Kanan, trained Ezra. So yeah, that would be sweet. And we, even we got like a Kanan Jars reference here. Kind of kind of for the first time because they didn't really, like they didn't mention his name before. I know they had a picture of him or like Hera has a picture of him. 
<laughs> in like the ghost, like in the ghost cockpit. <laughs> and people were, people were like speculating, oh, they got a picture of Freddie Prince Jr. in there. <laughs> like to me, it didn't look like Freddie Prince Jr. They like, you can, you can barely see the face. It's just like the shape of his head. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to go back and look at that though i don't think we saw anything like that in, in this episode did we i don't know i'll probably go back and look at that too <laughs> but yeah overall this episode was good i'm really liking it i don't know still how people are gonna be liking like the series with um if they haven't seen rebels or clone wars because i feel like a couple things especially with the flashbacks in here i feel like they probably go over your head if you haven't seen clone wars I feel like they got over my head. I feel like there are things that have like flown past my head even when I've seen Clone Wars, but I haven't seen it in a while. So yeah, it was like that first flashback. I just like, what, like I don't know what that is. Was that in Clone Wars? <laughs> yeah, I had to go back and watch Clone Wars sometime. But yeah, but it was a good episode. It was a good episode. I'm liking it so far. And five episodes in, I'm hooked. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm anticipating what is going to happen for these next three episodes. <laughs> Are we going to see Ezra and Thrawn? So yeah, you can tell me that. Are we going to see Ezra and Thrawn? Yeah, we got to see him at this point. So yeah, so give me your thoughts on the episode down in the comments below. Did you like this episode? Was it good to you? Was it really good to you as it was to me? So yeah, tell me down below. And yeah, I'll see you all later. And I'll probably have another video come out this week, probably. Maybe speculating, making predictions or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, uh, but... Until whenever that is, or my next reaction is, I will see y'all later. Rebel out.